Hey, um, <clears throat> so here is how to use uh, Spreadsheet as a source uh, for, uh, for scrapers. So I have a sheet here with a column that contains the URLs and I want to basically run scraper on these URLs. Uh, I came up uh, with a playbook for that. Um, so basically it's, um, um, uh, it, it is uh, three commands. So the first command is just get all the values from Spreadsheet and that's called uh, get Google Sheet as a table. So this will return the entire table from the Spreadsheet. Uh, next step is basically extract the column that we're interested in and that takes the table from the first command as an input and then the name of an of a column that we're interested in extracting in our case it's url and then the third step is uh, scraping data uh, it's important though that to use the right scraper command here in this case it is scrape data on one or more urls it's not scrape data on active tab because we want to scrape in the background and here you need to give it a list of urls which is the output of action two as well as the scraper template to use. This is something that I have created previously. And uh, with this, you should be able to uh, use this spreadsheet as a source. And uh, let's run it, let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> so there's like a browser popping up in the, in the background. It's like a minimized uh, browser that pops up. And uh, that's actually where the scraping happens and it will happen in this case three times because I have three URLs that I'm scraping. And at the end of it, I should see, um, yeah, basically three tables with the values that it scraped in this case from LinkedIn. And obviously <clears throat> you can <clears throat> go and add kind of like follow on actions here and you can make it whatever you, uh, you need it to be. You can add it to Notion or you can add it to another spreadsheet. Uh, but yeah, hope this helps.